and a very good afternoon to you all or good morning depending on where you are watching from across the globe this is wake up call it's an absolute pleasure to have your company and we are uh, well the first wake up call of the week can you believe it we're on the 10th of may already if you didn't already know by now my name is craig laird and i'm here with you every single day do, during the week monday to friday at uh, 12 p.m here in the uk of course 7 a.m eastern time 4 a.m pacific time we are with you for a whole hour and a half where what we are going to be doing is previewing the things that are coming up throughout the day on Crafters TV. Not only that, we are going to be showcasing some different things as well over the coming weeks. More about that coming up very, very shortly. However, with it being Monday, what that means is we have got two shows that you may be familiar with on a Monday, and that is going to be kickstarting after Wake Up Call, of course. That's going to be launch day. So launch day is with Sarah and Joe. This is all about our cut in numbers. If you've not seen these yet, these are simply phenomenal. So, so simple. Hi. So, so simple to create your cards or your projects. Lots of different things that you can do with them. So we're going to be showcasing them within Wake Up Call. But to get a full two hours when it comes, that's the one. That's what we want. There we go. There we are. You need to see what's coming up on the day. And that is launch day. So that's 3 p.m. here in the UK. For you guys stateside, of course, it's 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. And then what we're going to do, we're going to close out the day. I say close out the day it will be closing out the day here in the UK and that's with Monday Makers which is going to be with myself and Joe as well so I'm going to be coming back for the last show on Crafters TV of the day so that's going to be 7pm here in the UK 2pm Eastern Time 11am Pacific Time and what we're going to do with them ones is we're going to have a, a little bit of a look as to our interchangeable sentiments something that you guys absolutely love and adore something I love and adore and I was beyond excited when uh, I asked if we could uh, actually have these on the show and they said yes but of course when it comes to wake up call i cannot do this show all on my own i need someone just to be you know there at the the helm of the ship steering the way and i've got joe by my side as well afternoon joe <laughs> that was like i really wanted someone that could be in charge but they couldn't be here so joe's not here. at all <laughs> not uh, at all we we're all in a very playful mood uh this morning craig how was your weekend was it fun was it eventful it was actually so i was just getting my comments up over there on the phone i see them all popping through you just see my head going the way there uh, i did have a lovely weekend actually so um my mum and well my stepdad came down on uh friday so he came down to one he was uh taking my mum home they left on the sunday however he was doing kind of like all the odd jobs around the house Perfect. i like to think as i'm really good with diy etc etc however there's some things for instance an outside tap Mm. TV on the wall, I no. wouldn't do You know that my TV in my living room is my, like my pride and joy. Absolutely. No way would I ever attempt to put that on the wall. So uh, they left early Sunday morning, then I'd done all my housework, and nice. then I chilled, ready for a full day on Crafters TV. So I'm, oh. uh, yeah, rearing to go. Refreshed, re-energised, ready for the new week, Craig, which is what uh, I like to hear. Uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with us, with me, with Craig, you've got burning questions, uh, then you can get in touch with us through the show, all the usual ways. We do have a very special guest in the show as well. Uh, we're going to be joined by the lovely Janine. We're going to be talking about starting your day in the right way, which will be awesome. That will be coming up uh, in a little while, which is fantastic. But uh, it's going to be a great week, Craig, isn't it's it? It is, it really, really is. So much to look forward to, not only today, but throughout the full week on Crafters TV. What we've also got as well, Joe, is uh, something really exciting, isn't it? So this is all about the best craft awards. So the nominations are now open. So when it comes to uh, female craft personality of the year, most love craft TV shopping channel, ultimate gadget slash machine, male craft personality of the year as well. Or what you can be doing as well is going in with the nominations nominations that are open for favourite die cutting range, male craft personality of the year, <coughs> Joe to the side, whoop, whoop. female craft personality <laughs> he says of the that year, I've <laughs> uh, not actually done it with Ben yet, so, uh, yeah. well, wait or you can vote for Craig, it's up to you, 
Or, yeah, yeah, you could vote there for me, is. that guy, that guy again. Designer of the Year with Sarah, best brands for crafts and most love UK crafts chain store. So the nominations are open now, so you can then follow the details that was on your screen a moment or two ago. I want to say, uh, just to double check as well, I believe it's still only open to the UK though. Just the UK, I know you guys stateside and across the globe love us so much and you always give us that love. How but many new these, email addresses have you created so far, Craig? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm on about 645 now. Oh uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm oh, really yeah. not. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will say though, I will say, my mum tried to do it over the weekend as well, yeah. but it's not open to anyone that is friends or relatives or anything within the company, ah. so she couldn't do it. No, nope. ah. no. Nope. So, uh, so she did try. She did try. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's have a look and see what's coming up. First of all, when it comes to a wake up call, and this is our interchangeable sentiment. So this is our Gemini interchangeable sentiment collection. So this is our die collection being 30 elements in total here. So what we can do is you can see that all of those within the screen here, we have then got your, uh, well, all of them have got five dies in total you've got your main base die and then within each set you've got three different sentiments so that you can then interchange them so if you want to go for this full collection 74.95 here in the uk for you guys stateside 84.75 now every single one of you will get that saving at the bottom of your screen right now however if you are in club inspire like many of you will be if you're not we will go over that in more detail throughout today and also the rest of the week what i will tell you if you are platinum you are 59.95 or six what was that, Johnny? $67.96. And you guys think that I do it off the top of my head. No way. Couldn't do it without Johnny saying that in right ear. So if you're platinum, that is uh, your price, of course. So that is the full collection when it comes to the interchange of its sentiment. If I'm just going to show you this. It's the sort of thing that you can be doing when it comes to one of them here. Now, with this one here, as I explained a moment ago, that's just one sentiment. You've got three within this design here. So lots and lots of different things that you can be doing when it comes to these ones. Now, maybe you maybe don't want the field collection maybe you're a relatively new crafter you've got a die cut machine and you want to try them what you're able to do is you're able to get a little starter set so within the starter set that you'll be able to see on your screen as well that gives you your key elements to get crafting when it comes to this one here so this one is the pretty florals die so you get this die here five elements within this one set however you're getting your dotty tape runner do you know what i'm just going to do i'm going to pinch the stand as well good thinking hey you would have thought i would have thought of that to start with I didn't. There you go. You've got your die set here as well. You've got your dotty tape runner. You've got two pokey tools and that's not it. You're also getting your baby pink and your baby blue Centura Peril. Baby what was that? Oh, oh, that one. Oh, gosh. That's going to be in my song. I'll Let's my head all day. What's it the do? What's it? The song? That's the match of the day. That's the match of the day. Definitely not the right one. And funny enough, I don't even watch match of the day because um, I don't even watch football. Anyway, this is a nice starter set as well. So let's show you the actual cards that you could be making. So you've got condolence, you've got congratulations, and you've also got celebration. Now, when it comes to the card stock, it's 310 GSM. So that's uh, grams, what now? Grams per square meter. Square meter. So you've got your 10 sheets of your baby blue, 10 sheets of your baby pink as well. So £22 here in the UK, $28 for you guys stateside. So that's a saving of 20%. What I do just want to point out as well, that if you were to go for both, you are going to duplicate that one die. You know, maybe you want to gift that to someone, but just so that you are aware that that is the same die that's come with the same one. 
Now, something you'll be able to cross over if you want as well, and this is our cut in numbers. This is launch day, so this one is coming up at uh, 3 p.m. here in the UK, or of course, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Think big numbers, but think of the aspect of being able to cut in. So you're able to do things like your shakers if you want, use them, incorporate them when it comes to frames. So within this set here, that's the Gemini cut in number die collection, 19 elements in total, because you're also getting this set here where you've got happy birthday anniversary you've got celebrate and you've also got the and and the earth and the st and the th to be precise when it comes to those ones there also These, that is the ordinals that's them as well yeah so that is uh, all dies as well and this is the sort of thing that you can be making i'm going to go right into view there now look at that good sizable die so you've got your shaker aspect as well however it's kind of like a two four because these bits that die cut out keep them and use them elsewhere so with that one there being uh, coming up in launch day if you want to go for that set here 29.99 here in the uk 39.95 here in the uk so that's launch day monday makers being 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, or of course 11 a.m. Pacific time when it comes to that show. So we are going to head right across to Joe, who's going to go over some of the comments that's already coming through, a few other things, and I'm going to dot over that way and get ready to demo. Are you ready, Joe? I am ready. Uh, yes, loads of you chatting away, loads of you commenting and tuning in from all over. We are getting a couple of just generic craft questions in this morning, Craig. So do you think we should do like, should we do a little crafty clinic in the uh, in the show today? What do you think? Do you want to? I think so. Yeah, I think it might be fun, Craig. Uh, so any random craft questions you've got, get them into a studio at crafterscompanion. Uh, .co .uk, or uh, you could email them to us, but that's not the best way to do it. Pop over to our Facebook, Crafters TV, or of course, across on YouTube. If you watch on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe at Crafters Companion over there. Now it is Monday, all day. Some people don't like Mondays, I love them. Do you know why? You get a brand new Get It Got It Good. And this week's is brilliant. It is the Scrapmaster Scrap Organizer 5 Pack for you. And we're also going to pop into there five, or 15 I should say, three times five of the stamp pockets as well. This is a brilliant way for you to arrange all of your scraps, your offcuts, any loose die cut toppers that you might have. Or you can be putting gems, embellishments, self adhesive gems in here. It's really brilliant for just organising uh, those generally sort of small parts of your stash that tend to uh, you know, maybe end up sitting in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. Uh, the great thing is about it as well, you've got a great deal on it. You're buying the Scrapmaster and you're getting the three stamp pockets free of charge. I would say it will run for a, a whole week, but often our Get It Got It Good deals do end up selling out early. So if you want it, I would urge you to get your hands on it sooner rather than later. That represents a 20, uh, a 25% saving, which is brilliant. But we're all really excited uh, about our show that's coming up today. And that's launch day, Craig isn't it? Something that was very popular when we previewed it on the HSM preview. So I think it's going to be a very, very busy show. I completely agree with you on this one here. You know, who doesn't want numbers when it comes to their cards, their projects or home decors? And these are large ones. So these are your cut in numbers. So we're going to have a look at them right now. However, coming up on launch day. So that is the show with Sarah and Joe. Two hours of jam-packed demonstrations of all the different things that you could be doing with them. If you want to go for them right now, you absolutely can do. You can even have a look at everything else coming up throughout the rest of the day. Unbelievably busy already. I So Johnny's just said to me there in my ear, it's Johnny and Charlotte in the gallery today, and he's saying that think already they might be a bit concerned as to the actual show. So if you are looking to get these, if you are intrigued by these, then this is certainly the time to get them. You can shop ahead when it comes to Monday Makers as well, but this should be your focal point at the moment because you don't want to miss out on these ones. Now, what you're getting within these ones, let's show you the board and we'll also show you a few finished samples. It's a mouthful for a, a Monday lunchtime. This is your die. So you've got your dies on this side here. Now, what you're able to do is all your white 
is what's die cut. So this is the size of them, really quite sizable ones. So we'll go over the size of them just shortly. Now think of, of course, your ages, but then think about the date of birth as well. Maybe the time of someone's born, or you know, if there's a, a time or a, you know, a month of that that you want to remember within your scrapbook pages, or of course your memory books. Think about all your different memory books that you've got at home that you could be using these in. Phenomenal way to do that. Maybe you want to create your own backgrounds as well. So this has been done to show you what they look like. However, that could actually be the back of a card blank. You know, just do them maybe at a jaunty angles and that would look quite smart. But what you're also getting within the set as well, you're getting your die cuts as well. So these ones, this is where you can then uh, incorporate them with your letters, your letters, your numbers. And then you can start to have things like happy 21st, maybe celebrate uh, a certain age, because what you've got at the bottom as well on this side is where you've got your ordinals as well. You might want to use them on their own, you absolutely can do, but these ones here, because of the size of them, they're even going to go through your Gemini Mini as, all, as well as your Gemini Go. Just to say they will of course go through your Midi and your Junior, but depending on the card size that you're using, if you want to do big card size, then use your large Gemini or of course your Gemini Pro. Let's show you a few things that you can be making. So this is all about decorating the front of your cards or your projects, of course. Now you can do your cards incorporating other crafters companion products you've got or any other brands that you've got at home and make really cute cards, really fun cards as well. I mean, how cute is that? Who wouldn't, do you know something? I was about to say who wouldn't love that? I don't think there's any age, whether it was eight or 80, that wouldn't love that sort of style. Then go all out, you know, and starting to do all your concepts. You know, and these ones will still fold flat if you want to. He says, going in one day. Oh, oh, I bro oh, bro broke a dip. Have I? Have I? No, have a Charlotte? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. We'll, we'll fix that later. It's fine, Charlotte, absolutely. So you can see you can do your concepts there. But then what about, maybe you have your big twist and pop. Maybe you have some of the other element dies where you can then start to incorporate them. Look at this one here. So if I open it, look I at love that. that. How fun is that? So this is really taking your cards to more levels, different levels, simplistic, or you know, more uh, along the lines of you're more experienced, but then you've got the ability to do your anniversaries, your birthdays, your celebrations. Let's go for one more here, using your frames as well, and think about cutting into them in shakers. I think out of all the cards that you do at home or you could be doing, I think a lot of you are going to be using these for shakers. Because I, I don't know about you, Joe, but it just seems to shout out shaker elements when you've got these cut in pieces. Absolutely, yes, it does create a lot of people talking about these and that they arrived already. Loads of people already have them. I think some of our US customers grabbed them when they were on uh, over HS over on HSN. Lorraine says I bought the uh, get it got it good deal. I want to sort all my cardstock out, which is lovely. Uh, Anne has ordered the cutting numbers, which is lovely. Lorraine says hers arrived as well. Uh, uh, doing her girlfriend's fiftieth birthday card uh, with these. Do you know I said this the other day, Craig, when my mum was 60 recently, I know we talked about it uh, before, she would absolutely kill me for telling you all that she's 60. Um, I went into the card shop. When you don't have a milestone birthday card to get, right, if you just buy a birthday card for someone, you've probably got 150 cards to choose from maybe mm -hmm. in a shop, something like that. If it's a milestone birthday you want to get one for, you don't. You have maybe 12 to choose from. And I think it's really difficult to get the sentiment that you want to fit the number that you want. So these are just gonna be awesome. So you can still make it lovey-dovey, you can make it comical, you can make it classic, you can make it modern, but then you can put the milestone birthday on yourself. And also doing all those sort of obscure ones, Craig, that maybe you're not gonna be able to find is excellent, isn't it? You're right. You're absolutely right on that way. You can do them in all different ways. But then think about other things. Now, in the next demonstration with the uh, interchangeable sentiments, I'm going to use the foil press. So I want you to think of these cutting numbers, but have the foil press in the back of your mind so that when we do that demonstration, you'll be able to think, 
I could use the cut in numbers. So stay tuned for that one. But let's have a look at these in more detail. We've got a foil press mask class coming up soon, haven't we, Craig? We do. Maybe are you, um, are tomorrow. Are you wear the shirt? That's all I want to know. Is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow. Will mm. the shirt be making an appearance? They, uh, the shirt, do you know something? I could be completely honest and no one's going to believe me, but the shirt has gone missing. I don't the believe you. See, there you go. But I, think know, you tried to iron, I think you tried to iron it and now it's like shrink plastic somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if that was like, it was just like soak up, yeah, like shrink could plastic and just soak it would up. Stick to the iron. <laughs> stick to the iron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or I could try that other spare one that I think that's just, you know, goes down to my knees or something. Oh, yeah. maybe I'll give that one a go. But I think it was originally for you, Joe. Was it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I so. should wear it tomorrow then, shall I? I think you should. I oh, think you can't should. find it. Oh, what a shame. Oh, damn. Two of them have gone missing. Yeah. Mm, worrying that one, isn't it? <laughs> right. I think Johnny's taken yours home with him. I think he has. Yeah. Yeah, whilst he's eating a, uh, an Arctic roll of an evening after uh, a few yeah. days. He does. That's why he's got it, apparently. So when he eats the Arctic rolls, he just, it's just easy to wipe clean. Uh, anyone that doesn't know the backstory here, Johnny sometimes has a little snack in the evening when the late nights are on. You know, it's lockdown, so no judgment, Johnny. He has been known to go to the freezer for a slice of Arctic roll and just eat the whole thing. We have visions of him just chomping on an Arctic roll uh, of an evening at home on a Friday night. There you are. That's how he rolls. That's oh, how he that's rolls. What he did there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I, didn't even, I didn't even plan that. Didn't even plan that one. See, I'm good. Well, I'm not that good, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm, one, I'm one of those, Joe, that, you know, if someone says something or something happens, it's, I'm like two days later when I'm like, oh, I should have said this, or I should it's have the, said the that. The thing is, it's a very British thing, isn't it? Like, humbleness. We were discussing this the other day, you know. It's a, it's a very British way, Craig, isn't it? It is. You're right. It really is. I, I'm just, I'm not good at thinking on the spot of uh, comebacks. Well, Craig, you have savaged me on more than one occasion in these shows, yeah? Uh, yeah, to be fair, I have, but then <laughs> that is literally, that's <laughs> fluke. That's just <laughs> fluke for me. I don't think so. I think you're funnier than you know. Um, do you know something? I'm going to take that as a compliment. It was a compliment. You was should it? take it as a compliment. I'm definitely going to take it as a compliment, that's for sure. You know. It's, it's, it's nice when you hear things like that. What is an Arctic roll, D Maddox would like to mm. know. Uh, Johnny, can you um, can you get on the Googles and have a look what it's called in the US, please? It's basically like, um, it's, a Genoese, it's a Genoese sponge, very thin Genoese sponge. Then you put ice cream in it, sometimes a bit like sauce in there as well. And then you roll it up, so like a roulade, but with ice cream instead of cream. And it's frozen. And it tastes delicious. It is divine. Mm -hmm, it does. Have you ever tried making one, Joe? I, I haven't, no. I've tried to make a roulade on more than one occasion, and it literally looks like someone sat on it, Craig. It's meant to be round, isn't it? A beautifully, you know, pinwheel on the inside. Yeah. And it's not. It's more, <laughs> it sort of comes out a bit square and lopsided, so no. I'm not very, I don't mind cooking, Craig. I consider myself to be a good cook, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I'm not very delicate in the kitchen. Right. You know, things that are fiddly and take a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, not for me, no. Yeah, you see, I, I'm like you, I, I do enjoy cooking. Don't get to do it a lot, but I do enjoy cooking. Now, it's funny, you know something? I cannot, for the life of me, make pancakes, but I can do a good roulade. Can you? Mm -hmm. We've got yeah. someone coming up that's very good. I very know, good we do, actually. Show. We'll be talking all things roulade uh, in the next sort of 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, Janine's going to be joining us, who's a qualified yogi and an executive chef. Talk about a triple threat, Craig. Exactly, uh, We can't wait to meet her uh, very, very soon. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, that one, for sure. Uh, Anne is very jealous of your eye measurement. It's excellent, Craig, apparently. My eye measurement. Eye measurement? <laughs> As in when you look at things and just measure them by eye, not where your eyes sit in your face or something oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good to part, isn't it? Good space. <laughs> I mean, is that just lining things up like this yeah, one Yeah, the here? way you lie things up by eye. By eye. I mean. Yeah. So, yeah, well, there you go then. Perfect. So I have literally just lined that one up by eye. So what I've done, this is going on what you said a moment or two ago, Joe, where you can be doing any different numbers that you so wish. 
Now, I've taken, this is a template. This is from the year of crafts. So this one was from, I think it was from the first one. Yes. First year of crafts stencil. And I've just created this little uh, gift bag. Now, this is the bit I want. However, Joe, you've got your die cut bits that you could still be using elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So don't bin them. Of course, some of the numbers will be holes. Some of them, like your eight, are going to be separate elements, but it doesn't matter. Keep a hold of them and you'll be able to use them still. So we're going to bring this one back in. Then what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of layers of cardstock. So these are caramel and cream, decadent decor, and a piece of acetate. So I think what we can do is let's assemble this one first of all. So I'm going to pop my adhesive into place. And then what I'm also going to do is bring in this cardstock. I've got in some, it's really, well, it's relatively thin rope considering the thickness you can get out there. And then we're going to use that to create this really nice gift bag. And what I wanted to do, because uh, with uh, ourselves, Joe, we've uh, been kickstarting the Mental Health Awareness Week. Yes, indeed. What I find as well helps as well, you know sometimes if you give someone just a little gift, does nice. it need to be anything expensive, just a little gift, a little, uh, it could be a keepsake thing, or a, um, a, I don't know, a, a little pack of smelly, something like that. So that's what I've decided to go with when it comes to my demos. Each of them are in the form of gift giving, nice. ways that you can gift them. However, what I'm also done with the rest of the demos on the show is I've got a card blank as well, whereas I can show you how you can incorporate them to cards as well as uh, little gift bags. Awesome, yeah, it's National uh, Mental Health Awareness Week here in the UK, kicking off today. Uh, so just helping raise awareness and talking about something we don't really talk about all that much, Craig. So, we do uh, There's lots of... Um, there is lots of things uh, going on. We'll be talking about all things mindfulness uh, with Janine. Would you like some random trivia? I love our viewers, Craig, because they send us things like this. Uh, Rhonda has, says, trivia, the Arctic... I, I wonder if Rhonda already knew this or she's been on the Googles. I don't know. Uh, she says, the Arctic roll was invented in the 1950s by Dr. Ernest Valden, an immigrant from Czechoslovakia. There we are. Wow. I wonder what they were thinking when they came up with it. Yeah, you know, who, who, who thought about ice cream and a sponge roll? Oh, uh, Dr. Ernest Valden, well, we just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Um, Not quite what I was meaning, but you know. Uh, so, Deezers, I think we might call their Arctic roll an ice cream jelly roll cake in the US. That ice sounds right. Cake. Getting out a firm nod from Janine there. So, yes, an ice cream jelly roll cake. So, that's what it's called. Johnny can demolish one of those. I think we should get Johnny on the uh, Guinness, into the Guinness world. Yes! Yes! What a great idea. Let's get Johnny on Wake Up Call eating an ice cream jelly roll and we'll time him, Craig, see how quickly he can do it. I think that's a crack an idea. Crack an idea. I mean, we get idea. BAFTA for that. Well, it's uh, BAFTA season, isn't it? It is indeed. I think they've they happened. Yes, I think they've... Oh, they have happened, I think haven't they? Happened. Yes, There's always did. next year, Johnny. There's always worry. next year. Absolutely. Maybe they could, we could get the uh, Best of Crafts Award. Could be, we could, it could feature a category uh, along the lines of, you know, quickest ice cream jelly roll eater or something like that on Craft TV. Yeah. Johnny would clean up. Well, he wouldn't. It's quite messy, but I mean, he'd win. <laughs> He would give it a good try, that's for sure, wouldn't he? With his uh, shiny, sharp Arctic roll. <laughs> oh, I've got a picture now of him. Wow, uh, okay. Oh, let's move on on that it's one. Nation eh? And also, it's National Mental Health Awareness Month in the US as well. So, uh, there we are. Oh, oh sorry. Oopsie. <laughs> I jumped out my skin I'm so glad you weren't on me. <laughs> I've had this thing recently in the studio, Craig, where, you know the brakes on the counters? Yeah. They have like little stoppers on them. Like you just put your foot on them to pop them down. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, without warning, they just pop off. And it doesn't make a very loud noise. You can't hear it at home, but honestly, it scares the living daylights out of me. The other day, I think I jumped almost from the kitchen set right the way over here to the living room set, Craig. Really? It really gets me, yeah. No sudden noises, please. Yeah, just goes. Just goes. Uh, Sandra's also ordered her number two. Should we see where everyone's tuning in from today, Craig? Do, do that, because I'm Let's. just having a little argument with my little box here. You're having a bit do, of a fiddle there. Do you know no, what it worry. is? Do you know what it is? I've popped my acetate in, but I've popped the acetate over the holes. 
which oh, I shouldn't have done. Don't put your acetate over your so hole because you you'll never get your string in. You, you wouldn't. Uh, you definitely wouldn't. Laura, <laughs> Laura Hernandez is calling in from Virginia. Uh, we've got the Chuckle Brothers next door in the gallery today. It's Johnny and Charlotte uh, in the building today. Uh, Brenda Blackler is saying hi uh, to everyone in the studio. Denise is in from Trinidad. I hope you are well, Denise. Uh, Patty's from in Michigan. Elizabeth is uh, in Texas too. Uh, Jerry's in Ohio. Ohio, Jerry. Uh, Sarah's in from Ohio too. Ohio, Sarah. Uh, Debbie's in from a rainy New York. Shelley's in Michigan. Mitz is in Virginia. This is a new one. Susan is in Switzerland. Ooh. Uh, Susan, well, I think that is a new country for us, Johnny. Susan, where in Switzerland are you? Oh, I'd love to know. I have some friends near Zurich. Uh, and also, Switzerland, one of the favourites to win the Eurovision Song Contest this year, Craig. Really? Rehearsals kicked off this week. Oh, I'm so excited. France are the new favourites to win. Are they? Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'll be sharing more of that over on my Facebook page as we get closer to the 22nd of May, which is the grand finale uh, of Eurovision. It is the biggest television event in the world, Craig. Is it? it attracts a larger audience than the Super Bowl. Oh Does gosh, indeed. I can't believe that. Yes, I believe it is watched by 200 million people globally, gosh. live. Yeah, that's, that's even a lot more than WrestleMania. Is it? It is. Yeah, if you uh, haven't, if you're not familiar with all things Eurovision, we'll give you updates as we go. I feel like in the week before, so I'm in the studio, Craig, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Uh -huh. uh, and that'll be the week before running up. So maybe we could do a little, on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe I could give you a little bit of an education. You know, just a little couple minutes. We'll contain it. It won't, you know, take over the show like WrestleMania did. I'll keep it contained. You do that. You do that. Yeah, I think this, the two week lead up and then the week after was a bit too much. <laughs> we, won't, we won't do it next year, don't worry. Oh. Here, now, we got there in the end. Just make sure if you go to do something like this, then when you pop that acetate in, don't I have it covering the wee holes. But we've got a lovely little gift bag that we've got here. I've decorated it, you can see, uh, at the back here. Now this one, I could come along and add, you know, maybe birthday or, you know, even uh, anniversary, you know, if they've been married uh, 38 years. But you're able to do any number that you want, you know, and obviously depending on the size, you can do it even if someone's uh, got to 100, 101, think of it these ways as well. Now what we are going to do, before we go back to Joe's, I've got another quick demonstration because what we're going to do within this one, so let me pop that one to the side. Now I've got, I'm not going to do a full card with this one, what I'm wanting to do is show you how you can actually use these in a different way. So I'm now going to come in, let's go for, let's do 24, so let's go the 2 and the 4. And then what I'm doing as well is we're going to have a little bit of a play. I've got the two and the four. And because they, they seem to just slot in nicely, I'm going to do that. And this isn't actually for uh, any purpose within the demo. It's just a, a nice different way to use them. Here's an interesting question for you, Craig. Uh -huh. Do you have a year that you look back on and think that was an epic year? You know, I can age. Because I feel like everyone does, don't they? They think, oh, when I was X, that was a great year. Mm. I've got several. This one's been, you know what? This one's 34 has been pretty X. Am I 34 or am I 35? No. No, I'll be, I'll be 35 in September. Yeah. Gosh, that was frightening there. I had a moment. 27 was, was epic. 34 has also been excellent as well, I would say. I don't know why 27 was so good. I just remember it being a good one. Yeah. And 24 was pretty good as well. In fact, they were all right. I, I, there's not a, there's not really a year that jumps out at me to think that was an epic year. Okay. Anyone yeah. at home that's got one, let me know. Let me know why as well. Yeah, exactly. I why? Think for a lot of people, maybe it's having the first child, you're getting married, isn't it? Maybe those sort of significant things. Let me know in the comment. I would love to know. Be interesting to see why uh, you find them being epic year. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start just letting Charlotte know. I'm going to stand back because I'm going to use a repositional spray. So I've die cut 24, could be any number that you want. And it's a piece of uh, cardstock. I've used a piece of watercolour card. That's not essential. It's because this is actually going to be taken off in a moment. So let's give that just a second or two. And then what I'm going to do is I've taken a piece of the baby pink cardstock which is from the uh, starter set when it comes to the interchangeable. 
Craig, are you surprised at the price on these? Because I must admit, I only f I only saw these and featured these on the HM preview. And during the HM preview, obviously we don't talk about pricing. And in fact, on any of my notes, I don't know what the price is going to be of something. When I was thinking about this, I was thinking of something that began maybe with a four, a price with began with a four, maybe even yeah. a bit more expensive than the usual price. I'm really surprised to see them at this price. I know it's surprising, and actually, Joe, it works out that you get the sentiments for free. So that goes wow. to show how, how well this value is. And the sentiments on their own are uh, about nine ninety nine. So yeah, it works out you're getting them for free. So uh, $14 even separately. So it is a cracking, cracking buy when it comes to this. And we all need numbers, don't we? All we need all numbers. We need numbers. Maybe, Craig, you could just uh, like put your phone number on here. You could. <laughs> you could have like a really massive business card. <laughs> <laughs> what about your wheelie bin? Yeah, great idea. Yeah. Really what do you good. guys call wheelie bins in the States? Wheelie bins for us are the sort of small bins on wheels that we pull in and out to take our They're like garbage trash or can. Out. Trash can. How do you say wheelie bin, Craig? Wheelie bin. Wheelie. Wheelie, wheelie bin. bin. Charlotte really appreciates the way you say yeah, that. Yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte loves the way that I say wheelie bin. Mm. Oh, maybe you need to start saying that more to people. I wouldn't go around just saying, oh, wheelie bin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marsha's got back to me, Craig. She says her favourite years, her most memorable years, were 25 and 28 because that was the year in which she had her daughters. How oh, is that? how nice. Lots of different, um, you know, occasions, things that could be happening, you know, to uh, help celebrate and also help uh, people determine what year has been their favourite one. Absolutely. So lots of it. Looking forward to uh, hearing and reading other ones. But what I've done here, Joe, is I've used now this die cut as a stencil. Now, I would be using a little craft palette knife, but I don't have one with me. So I'm using the back of my uh, score tool. And I'm using one of our texture paste from, it's on our website, Cosmic Shimmer. So I've taken this one that happens to be, um, what has it got a colour on it? Let's have a look for anyone who wants to know. Graceful Lilac for this one. And then what I'm going to do, because it was a repositionable, I'm going to peel this one off. And because we've got a little indent bits within the two and the four, I'm going to be careful. And I'm going to peel this off again. So now what we're doing is we're now thinking beyond die cutting. Nice. We're now using them as stencils as well. So that could be, of course, the, the uh, paste that I just used. You could be spritzing onto it if you want to. You could be inking through them as well. So don't just think of them as die cut pieces or cut in die cut pieces. Think of the aperture aspect that you can then start to color throughout the way as well. So that's just one other different way in which you can be using these ones here. But to actually see a lot more ideas and a lot more inspiration on the things that you could be doing, then do uh, tune in and join Joe and Sarah. They're going to be on launch day, so that's going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK for you guys stateside, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. And that was done using the Gemini cut-in number die collection, 19 elements in total. Now, keeping in mind for that price there, it works out that you're getting the numbers, but you're, you're, you're buying the numbers and you're getting the sentiments for free. 29.99 here in the UK, 39.95 for you guys stateside. Of course, as I always like to say as well, all of you across on uh, Europe. You just need to go to either crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu where you can uh, pop them into your baskets. But I do urge you, if you are keen to these ones, get them into your basket and get them checked out. Very, very busy when it comes to these ones here. Not sure how many is going to be remaining come the actual launch day show. I think I've got a little bit of tidying up to do I as don't. well. However, I think if we go back to you, Joe, because you've got someone very, very special that you're ready to chat to. I have. We always love it when we have special guests on uh, the Wake Up Call, and none more so when we have them in the studio today. And today, uh, we've got the really lovely Janine Santillo with us. Uh, how are you, Janine? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me today. Oh, well, it is such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. Such a pleasure to have you come into uh, the studio and talk to us. Now, Janine uh, is the partner of our head of broadcast so uh, we've we've kind of roped you into coming in today <laughs> yes. uh, I know but it's really exciting because Janine is not only an executive chef but also a qualified yogi as That's well uh, so yeah. is yoga something you've been passionate about for a long time Janine? oh my goodness definitely um, owning a restaurant for so many years I needed to have some type of outlet to reduce of uh, uh, the stress and the pressures of 
of work. Yeah, so absolutely. That was, that was my escape for sure. Yeah, I know. And yoga is one of those things, isn't it? I think for a lot of people, I'm not going to say it's inaccessible, but I think it's one of those things that you think, oh, it would be so hard to get started. I have to go and do this. But actually, you do a little bit of YouTubing and there's really sort of simple, basic things that you can do, isn't there, to, For sure. you know, really sort of simple exercises, which I know we're going to talk about a lot. But with it being uh, Mental Health Awareness Month in the US and mm -hmm. here in the UK, I know that obviously the start of our day, I don't know about you, but I can be very moody, Janine, and it is I'm determined. A Absolutely. <laughs> it is determined but by what happens <laughs> the moment. I get out of bed so I know you wanted to talk to us about some ways in which we can start our day maybe in a in a positive way oh, definitely so I have um, five tips to start your day Fantastic. that are gonna help with um, reducing some stress and anxiety um, ease into the day feeling good and ready to go and conquer conquer awesome. our day so awesome. Shall I go through? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some, I'm taking notes over here because, uh. Janine, if there's anything I need, it's less stress. <laughs> so uh, I'm all ears. <laughs> we all do, right? <laughs> I think for sure. Um, so first of all, um, what I do first thing in the morning, we've slept for six to eight hours. We want to rehydrate because during the night we're getting dehydrated. So I always keep water by my nightstand and try to drink at least one to two glasses of water. Um, to help rehydrate your body. Mm. It'll also um, kickstart your metabolism. Absolutely, and the thing is, I don't know about you, I, uh, I'm pretty good at getting my water intake because you have it the day, but I think a lot of us, what we tend to do is only have water, not have water when we get up in the morning. Maybe you get mm -hmm. up, you mill around for a bit, then you have some breakfast, and then actually you realize it's 11 a.m., you still haven't drunk any water yet, and then you cram it all in at the end of the day. So important, as you say, to get it in first thing. Definitely, definitely get it in first thing. Awesome, right, I've, I've taken that note down. I'll be doing oh. that tomorrow, that's step one. <laughs> I'll write the list out for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then second, I like to prepare for my day. Okay. Uh, when I go to sleep, I don't wanna think about all the things that I need for the next day. Instead, what I do is I try to get myself set up. So I'll have my clothes picked out for the day. Um, I'll have my work bag um, all set and ready to go with things that I need to get through the day. Um, anything, little things, eating breakfast is important, so mm. that's my next point. But I like to prepare for breakfast the next day so I can make uh, things like overnight oats mm. and have that ready. So although all I have to do is grab it out of the mm. refrigerator and, and you're good to go. Um, we're, we're ready to go. I guess it's all about reducing stress, isn't it? Because there's nothing worse when you, I mean, I am the sleeping beauty, well, beauty, I wouldn't say beauty, but I am a well-known, I'm the one that's always asleep here at Crafters TV. And we had a poll recently said, who is the most person that is most likely to oversleep? And I won hands down. So I think if you do, you are a bit time poor in the morning, there's nothing worse than that getting up, sort of being five minutes late and knowing that, you know, you've got uh, an eye and make breakfast and do all I those other things. I think it's the most awful feeling to, your alarm doesn't go off and all of a sudden you wake up and you have to be to work in a few minutes it is just gut-wrenching <laughs> yeah a horrible it really really is it's day. not the best it is not the best right I'm definitely gonna heed that one then so when I get home tonight ironing prepare some sort of <laughs> breakfast okay all right Perfect. I'm on it next step <laughs> yes so um, like I said preparing breakfast is important it is the most important meal mm. of the day and this really will help you get a great start to your day you'll have be more energized your metabolism will kick start you're going to feel so much better if you just even if you grab a little something mm. whether it be you know granola and yogurt you can make your own granola or, or buy something um, egg white omelets are fantastic mm. really quick to make you can add some spinach to it or this way you get some of your greens in for the day uh, smoothies smoothies are oh, so simple yes. You can even have them, I like to have a little baggie of all the fruits and everything ready to go. You can put it in the freezer so it's nice and cold when you throw it in your blender. So just some really easy, quick ways to get something into your stomach I that think early. For a lot of people, especially if people are time poor in the morning as well, you think that breakfast's got to be this big ordeal where you have to cook something, you have to sit down and eat it. But you can, as you just said there, do something you know really quick and easy on the mm -hmm. go, which is which is absolutely awesome. Definitely. This is I feel very seen today by you, Janine, because I <laughs> rushed around, I got here a minute before the meeting I was meant to have. I've also skipped breakfast this morning and that's the first sip of water I've had. So I'm so glad you're here today. I'm so glad that you are here today, putting Good. me right. I'm here so, to help you. Oh, thank okay. you. So what else do we need to focus on in the morning? All right, so the next thing I would focus on, and I'll do a little demonstration for you as well. Awesome. Is Get moving in the morning. Get moving you know, in the morning. It um, will help you to energize yourself 
and I'm going to sh show you how to do a very simple um, breathing exercise. But this breathing exercise um, is also with movement. So okay. a lot of breathing is just breathing. This one has movement involved in it as well. All right, awesome. Well, are we going to going to line the camera up so you'll be able to uh, stand up? I'm going to do it as well, but I'm going to just step. Can I just step there and do it? Is that all right, Charlotte? All right, brilliant. So, uh, Janine, go on then. You can take it away, Janine, if you stand up. Okay. I'm going to stand up as well. Uh, so. my, uh, I've got all my bits and bobs <laughs> hanging off, and I've just unplugged myself I promise as well. it won't be too complex. It's, I'm just it's a hot mess simple. this morning, aren't I? But um, <laughs> this is a deep breathing exercise. Uh, most people only use 10 to 15% of their lung capacity, Okay. Um, which causes shallow breathing. Right. Um, it can also affect our mental health. It can um, increase anxiety when we shallow breathe, depression. Wow. Uh, it causes a lot of, right. even uh, cardiovascular-wise, uh, you're not pumping enough blood into your, into your heart. Okay. So, all right. This is uh, a really bad angle for me, by the way, so. Janine, but we're going to go with it, all right? All right Maybe let's... I should turn this way. Cool. There we are. <laughs> so, first, first part of it is the breathing itself. <laughs> and <laughs> Sorry, we're over there. Okay. Let me get the right camera. <laughs> so, with breathing... You're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. But when you breathe in through your nose, it's going to be to a count of six. Okay. And it has to be con all the way so you feel it in the back of your throat. And it's going to make a snoring sound. All okay. right. So let's practice that first. So breathe in to a count of six. Fill your lungs. Your lungs will expand. Tummies in. And then when you breathe out, it's going to be a ha sound. Doesn't that feel good though? It Just really that little bit. feels good, doesn't it? it does. Are we going to do it again? All right. So before we do it again, we're going to now add our hands. You're going to interlace all 10 fingers, place them underneath your chin. Elbows are tucked together. Your shoulders and hips are in line. Make sure you don't do a back bend. And ready? We're going to do it to a count of six. Your elbows are going to come up and frame your face like so as you breathe in. And you're going to hold it up at the top. And then as you exhale, your elbows are going to come together. Nice and slow, 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 and ah. And then you would do this for at least six to eight different repetitions. Wow. And when you're finished, yeah. your body is going to decrease. I'm going to do one with the breathing there again, yes. then, Janine. Yes, ready? So Let's just, do it so together. So the movement is here. Is so here. Go here for a count yep. of six. And then breathe in through your nose to a count of six. One. Elbows start to come up. Up, nice and slow. Breathe in and frame that face. And then as we breathe out, your elbows will start to come together. Gosh. And that's it. I feel like it. something it so great. simple as breathing. Also, I mean, I apologize you that you did see a lot of belly there during that. I mean, I have been on a bit of a lot weight loss campaign, but clearly this is a little bit too short for uh, this demonstration. <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? Because um, I, I think we, we talked about Britishness earlier. And we were talking about Britishness, and we have a very stiff upper lip here. I know you've been living here a little while now, Julie. Yes. And I think sometimes we think, oh, that's ridiculous. I, I, what utter <laughs> nonsense. I'm not going to be getting up and doing that in the morning. But it is these simple little steps that really help, isn't it? I think uh, if you tried it for a few days, I think you, you could be really surprised. And it, I, what I, something that someone talked about me recently is you don't have to do it that long for it to become something that you do. And I think that's it, is just making it part of your routine once you make it part of your routine, then it becomes easy. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know the other thing you want to talk about, uh, positive motivation, how you motivate yes. yourself. I am, uh, I'm a goal setter. I have to like, you know, I have to make sure I set that goal and then do it. But mm -hmm. there are lots of different ways that you can find positive motivation, aren't there? Oh, most definitely. And that's extremely important to you motivate yourself in a positive way every single day there's so many negative things out there even watching the news can can be a bit oh, negative absolutely. and it, it can bring you down so i like to start my day in the morning by either um, reading a positive passage i have meditation apps that um, will give you a positive message for the day and that way you can carry positive thoughts with you mm. throughout yeah absolutely you know? I think a lot of us have got caught in that trap. I know I certainly have, especially uh, since the pandemic, of maybe having the rolling news on all the time. And you're like, oh, I need to turn this <laughs> yeah, off. It's, and I need to, to have some, some sunshine <laughs> and some flowers in my life. A little bit of rainbow and some glitter, uh, which always <laughs> helps. Uh, Janine, can I say, it's been such a pleasure to have come in and chat with us uh, on the show Absolutely. today. Uh, and I really hope that uh, you guys at home will, will try those steps that Janine talked about. Definitely. I've got them written down here on my notes. So I'm definitely going to be trying those breathing exercises in the morning. 
morning and I've got Fantastic. all the fruit at home in the bags and the blender so you've inspired me to pop it in uh, tomorrow <laughs> and I'll have a great breakfast. Sometimes that's all it takes. It is all and it then takes. if you ever guys want a demo on the Arctic roll, um, the Arctic more roll. Than <laughs> oh hang on now Johnny, <laughs> Johnny's just fallen off his stall in the uh, gallery. So uh, Arctic rolls, you're our, you're our lady are you Janine? Yes. Brilliant, fantastic. <laughs> right, Johnny, he knows where to come for his Arctic Rolls. Massive thanks again, Janine. Uh, no, I really hope that helps. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much. Uh, right, uh, yes, uh, oh, that is so lovely. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Craig was doing a breathing exercise. Craig, are you, are you feeling uh, refreshed over there? I absolutely am. Isn't it funny how just something like that, even just a couple of steps, you know, you just feel that instant kind of relaxing, you know, ready to go as well. Also, just to say as well, it's about 16 months since I've last seen Janine face to face. It was so lovely, quickly catching up with her uh, before uh, we went live. And uh, yeah, as you said at the start, uh, there was a point she didn't actually realise she was going to be live doing that one. Uh, thought it was maybe going to be like a bit of a pre-recorder Skype in, but yeah, it was so lovely to have her uh, here in the studio as well and yeah what a bit of a difference I need to work on a few of these points as well uh, certainly breakfast and keeping hydrated that is two that I certainly actually I, to be actually do you know what I need to work on all five points really Craig I feel honest. like Janine has just uh, been has had some sort of like, secret spy cam on me the last few mornings because drinking water having breakfast exercising being well organized and uh, do you know what positivity I'm all right with positive I think that's maybe the one that I've nailed out of well nailed yeah that's the one i'm good for the rest of, out of all of them um but yeah really interesting really insightful something that we don't talk about or think about no. enough and also something that really does have a huge impact on our mental health as well craig which is something that's really important that we talk about uh, at the moment as well as a big drive on that too so so lovely uh, to have jenny in the studio with her uh, so vicky saying my yoga session is later so really excited for that uh, the breathing exercise christy chris Christiana says, wow, that feels so good. Uh, and Mary K. Knowles saying, definitely going to try uh, breathing. Great tips. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should, uh, it's all about, life is all about balance, isn't it, it Craig? Is. So today we've been thinking about mindfulness, uh, eating healthily, setting ourselves up beautifully. Tomorrow, the lovely Christina's going to be here. And we're going to be talking about cakes. So, I mean, a little bit of what you fancy yeah. does you no harm, I always think. Craig, don't you? No, I, I completely agree with you as well. Yeah, whether it's a, a little treat when it comes to, you know, some food or maybe, you know, you are just a bit of retail therapy, just treats and that. It's what about making it good. And as you said, Joe, it's balance, isn't it? It's absolutely balanced. But the key thing as well is obviously um, mentally and, you know, just having someone there, even just to chat about or even just uh, do some of these steps that Janine was just showing us a moment ago. Absolutely. I can tell by the comments as well. So yeah, many people are absolutely loving uh, that as well. Really absolutely loving it. And in fact, you know, I've been thinking yoga's been something I've been thinking about for a little while, Craig. Uh, and there's loads of uh, free stuff on YouTube. And it could even it's even down to um, you know, just wiggling your fingers and toes. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about I'm gonna try and find it for you? The national exercise of Japan is basically like this yoga dance thing that everyone does every single morning. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll have a look while she's doing your next demonstration. Yeah. But it's really super fun. So it's kind of like dancing, but in a yoga style. Maybe we should give that a go one morning, Craig. You know, maybe we could do it before our shows as our like pre-show warm-up. What do you think? I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Really good idea to do that. I think. I think ultimately as well. You know, when you know we're so lucky. You know, I know sometimes social media has a downside. Obviously, the social media do incredible things. So there's lots of things like you were saying as well. Yoga. You know, when it comes to mental mental health and that. You know, there's a lot of things that's free available on the website. You know, so make use of them. You know, if it's really going to help, absolutely do that. But do you know what? I am a firm firm believer that helps when it comes to mental health is crafting. Absolutely. You know, I firmly believe that whether it's mental health, whether it's physical health, whether it's you yourself, you know, so that's, you know, us at Crafters Companion or even just crafting as a whole, whatever form of craft that you do really, really does help in so many ways. So I think on that aspect, I Let's think should we on that do aspect. a bit of crafting? <laughs> And I think what we'll do is the next couple of demos are all about the interchangeable sentiments. Now, maybe you're a relatively new crafter. Maybe you're thinking about getting into crafting. You know, you've maybe seen or read things about how crafting does help a lot of people when it comes to mental health, physical health, anything along those lines. And you've thought, do you know something? 
fancy, fancy trying a bit. Well, that's exactly what we've got here. Coming up on Monday Makers with myself and Joe. So that's going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And this is our Gemini Interchangeable Sentiment Starter Kit. So what you've got within this one here is you've got your die set. So I've got mine at the side. I tell you what, let's show the boards just shortly. You have got the Interchangeable Sentiment die. Now, within this one here, you've got three different sentiments you can choose from. You're also getting your pokey tools, two of them. You're also getting your dotty tape runner as well. And you're also getting, uh, in total, 20 sheets of Centura Pearl. So you're getting 10 of the baby blue, 10 of the baby pink, each of them, or both there, uh, or all car stock of them with the Centura Pearl. It's 310 GSM. So that's what you're getting there. 20% saving, £22 here in the UK, or $28 for you guys stateside. So let's look at, this is the die that you get within this starter kit here. So this board completely, uh, fully just explains the actual concept of these whole lot. Maybe you're going to go for what we are going to show you shortly, and that's the full set. But if you do want to go with the sentiment of the starter set, this is where you've got the background as well as the detail die. So this is where the background die cuts the black layer. The detail die cuts the white layer but then you've got three different sentiments that you could then choose to use, which all three will fit within this aperture bit here. Now, what we're going to do with this one is remember how I was saying uh, a bit like gift giving. So that's what we're going to do with my next one. So let me get my bits and pieces in here. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, a gift bag that you could be given. So again, this could be smellies. This could be, uh, you know, if you are wanting to treat someone with little uh, treats, it could be little homemade uh, cakes or sweets or anything along those lines. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the baby blue cardstock within this one. I'm also using a piece of our white smooth stamping card and I've also taken a piece of pattern paper. This is from the year of crafts, the, the first one that's uh, it's from that 12 by 12, of, uh, 8 by 8, sorry. But of course it could be any pattern paper. And I've got a craft card gift bag. So let's bring in our machine now. And then what I'm going to do, what I'm also just going to do as well, I'm going to change over to my junior again. The reason I had my original Gemini at the side of me. The OG. The OG. That was because the gift uh, bag that I'd done beforehand, that one was just a little bit too wide to go through the large Gemini. So what I've done is uh, gone over now. So what I'm going to do is I've taken this main background die and I'm going to cut that within the blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this sentiment. Well, I say it's the sentiment die, it's actually the background. So let me just look for my tool, die brush tool, because there's still a few little bits in here. Anything that you see me using that we may not necessarily uh, talk about or mention on the show, you can find it across on our website. If there is anything that's out of stock, they will be coming back in, but the place to go is crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. But what we're going to do... I always do... want you to say .eu. I don't know why. .eu. .eu. Yeah, like EU, but together. You. See you. <laughs> you. Do you know who you... <laughs> Do you know who you sounded like there a minute ago? See you, Jimmy. Shrek. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Oh, Shrek. I look a bit like him as well. No, you don't. I no, do. you don't. You are looking so well just now. Well, Jill. not so from that, well. that angle that, sh that Charlotte put me on there. I feel like, you know, I must have upset her this morning, I think. And not then I didn't all. realise I'd be having to put my hands above my head, Craig. Everyone got more than they bargained for. I hope it didn't put you off your breakfast this morning there uh, during those breathing exercises. What you like. What, what you like. like, yeah, you are absolutely looking really well. I would have really put my well. active wear on had I known, Craig. Oh, have you got some of that my, stuff uh, off you? My slim fit gym kit. Your slim fit gym kit. <laughs> yeah. That's something I don't own. No, I don't own them either. Craig doesn't do the gin. The gin? No. The gin. <laughs> Craig does do the gin. He doesn't right. do the gym. The gym. Well, yeah, I told you, you time. know, everyone, you know, I've been talking about starting marathon training for ages, yeah. haven't I, Craig? Uh, well, I finally uh, met up today because, I mean, I've left it so late, I feel like I need some sort of professional help now. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I am starting on Wednesday, everyone will be pleased tonight. I am going to actually start my running ready for the marathon, so I'll get going. And then hopefully you'll see a little bit less, less love handle on uh, Wake Up Call uh, if we do get the lovely Janine back again. 
people I will be cheering you on cheering you on definitely get Janine back on to uh, go over more what do you think be oh good. yeah absolutely Stephanie says uh, crafting has definitely uh, improved my mental health I tell hubby it's cheaper than a therapist but I think he's questioning that now <laughs> <laughs> no that's you know that's well, I can't say it's true. I don't know for sure. And obviously, I would never say that. But it is such a good way way to help. Um, I think anything that allows you to switch off yeah. and zone out and really just concentrate uh, on what you're doing has to be. Uh, anything that brings you a little bit of peacefulness, Craig, I think, isn't it, is, is, is good for your mental health. I actually find uh, when I, I haven't crocheted in a very long time, I feel like life's particularly busy at the moment, Craig. Yeah. I feel like we had such a long period, didn't we, of not really a lot going on and, you know, having a lot of extra time on our hands. I don't think we're any busier now than we were, you know, back in the day. Everything just feels so busy. So I think it's about also doing things that you find mindful, uh, but finding time for yourself as well, Craig. It's very easy just to fill your diary, isn't it? And not keep any time aside for yourself. But when I crochet, I must say that is the one thing that I can absolutely lose myself in. I think it's because that repetitive motion you just completely zone out. And I love to do it in silence as well, Craig. Which do you? I know a lot of people find quite strange. I actually do sit in silence for a good hour every day at home. I don't know why. People find that a bit odd sometimes. I don't find it odd. It's not something that I do. I have heard people that do that. Um, but yeah, not something that I do, but I certainly don't think it's odd because uh, a lot of people um, do do that. Plus, as Johnny's just said in our ear, which is a, a good point as well, you know, with uh, your job, Joe, because you do a lot of talking anyway, you know, sometimes it's maybe just nice in your chill time just to... Uh, just to indeed. relax. There is a thing called creative brain. I'm not going to make any claims about it, Craig, but people that have particularly creative jobs apparently are known to be more quiet in their downtime. Yeah. I'm not. I'm gobby all the time, so I don't know why I'm sharing this information <laughs> with you. But it also goes within this, the same you were saying a minute ago, um, how it's just that downtime and, you know, it just lets your, your mind relax, your body relax. It's the same of, you know, we all know as well, you know, um, you know, if you suffer suffer for any pain, you know, mentally mm. that can be uh, quite hard. And, you know, if I have done in, in the past as well, sometimes your initial thought isn't to go and do a bit of crafting. However, if you do do that, it's amazing how much it takes your mind away and it just lets you uh, relax and then it takes your mind off of pain and then therefore also takes your mind off of, you know, everything that you're thinking about. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it is good for a multitude of different reasons. And uh, I think the thing is as well, you know, our mental health is something that we should all talk about, Craig, you know. Uh, yeah. Everyone, I think it's something like 30 percent of uh, the population will experience some sort of uh, mental health uh, awareness in each year so it affects a lot of people i think the, the more we talk about it and the more that we remove the stigma from it that is really healthy healthy thing craig uh, rosling uh, talking about crochet said that is my relax relaxation and a peaceful getaway as well joe when i'm uh, creating with yarn i am in my element Rachel just says, I spend most days alone giggling in my office. Rachel, I, t I don't know where you're going with that, but I love it. Um, Andrea says, not odd, Joe. I have to have silence at times too. Really helps me switch off and helps me lower my anxiety. I am very much a people person as well, Craig. But you see, if I go on holiday with someone and you're like sharing a room or something along those lines, uh, and there's people around all the time, I have to go off for a walk on my own. I definitely need my alone time as much as my, uh, you Do know, you? with yeah. people time. Yeah, which people always find... Um, Surprising. Gilmore's asking when is the marathon. It is on my birthday, Gilmore. One of my birthdays, the 26th of September uh, this year, and it will be in Berlin. So I'll be, you know, I'll be telling you all about it over the course of the summer, no doubt. Uh, one of your birthdays? Yeah, you know I've got two birthdays. No, I didn't. Oh, Craig. Uh, uh, Have you not no. heard? This is a, 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 this is a corker, this story. So I celebrated my birthday on the wrong day for 19 years. You oh, never. <laughs> I did indeed. Yeah, oh, Charlotte's asking why. Yeah, I don't, why. Should we let Craig finish this demo and then I'll tell you? Because I don't. I'm conscious that I'm talking over Craig's demo. Uh, no, Charlotte, I wasn't born on a leap year. Uh, Craig, you finish this and then I'll tell everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like uh, Charlotte just said, there where you're born on a leap year. I'm trying to think of it as kind of like a trick, one of those trick things with the the year or who knows. I look forward to hearing it's that story. Way more juicy than that, is it? <laughs> yeah. Good. Looking forward to it. 
Here, all that I've done is I die cut that back layer within the blue, baby blue cardstock. And then I did use a piece of uh, white smooth stamping card. If you are a new, new to crafting and you don't have the luxury of having all these different card stocks, the back of the Centura Pearl is white. So you could just turn it over and die cut. And then the celebrate, the word that I've gone for, keeping in mind you do have congratulations and condolences that could go in instead. Also cut that within the baby blue, layered that together, done my mats and layers, and I also cut a white oval using my nested dies. And let's just stick that back on again. So we've got a nice little gift bag, so you could be say it's someone that you're going to celebrate with them. It could be a little pot plant or something like that. Add in maybe, a, uh, maybe gems around the corner, a bow or ribbon. But thinking now, not necessarily just when it comes to cards or maybe, you know, your home decor, you can do them in the little gift, uh, gift bag. So we showed you that first one before. It's another alternative in how you can actually be gifting a, lift, a little gift. Really inexpensive, these little craft gift bags as well uh, when you find them online. But a nice different way in which you can use the interchangeable sentiment dies, which these ones are ones that are going to be uh, showcased and focused on later on in the day on Monday Maker which is with myself and Joe as well. So if you do want to go for that Gemini interchangeable sentiment starter kit, what you're going to be doing is you're going to get that die set, whereas you're getting the five dies in total. You get the base, you get the decorative, your three separate sentiments. What you're also going to be getting is 10 sheets of baby pink Centura Peril, 310 GSM, 10 sheets of baby blue Centura Peril, 310 GSM. You've also got your dotty tape runner. Now the dotty tape runner is 22 meters in total. I like to point out as well a lot of other branded tape runners out there are between 10 and 12 meters. Ours is 22 meters and then you've got your pokey tools as well. Pokey tool and the dotty tape runner is perfect for these for all these little fine detail as well. £22 here in the UK for you guys stateside $28 all saving that saving of 20% as well. And I tell you what, before we go to Joe, let's show you a few finished samples that you can be doing using this die set here. So with this one here, it could still be incorporated using your concept cards that you can see here. Really nice elongated DL card with Celebrate there. We've also got another one here with Celebrate, so they don't have to be large cards if you don't want to. And then you've also got another one with Congratulations. So the only one that we've not seen just yet is Condolences, but that is an option as well. So that is sort of things that you can be doing with that set and what we will be showcasing again later on today on Monday Makers, Joe. Me and we you. will. I'm really looking forward to that. Monday Makers is that one show where we maybe get a little bit more in-depth with the demonstrations, isn't it? I'm not going to say it's only for experience and advice crafters because there's there's tips and hints that everyone's going to be able to pick up and use in all of our shows here at crafters tv but if there was one show that maybe is a little more advanced then monday makers is it and it will be coming up at 7 p.m today here in the uk that's 2 a.m east coast 11 a.m west coast so uh yes make sure you join us for that is the karen wells would like to know is there a reason you only put tape in the corners to add your layers to the bag craig <laughs> caught me out there Oh, just time and speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would. When it, when it, you Rumble. don't miss anything, do you? You don't miss yeah. anything. Our time viewers, our yeah. viewers don't miss anything. Nope. Uh, 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 do you know what? I'm loath to call them viewers because it's more than that. Our crafty family uh, and friends uh, as well. Um, lots of you chatting away. Do you want to know about the birthday story, Craig? Do you think it's yeah. time? Right, so growing up as a child, um, my parents always work weekends. So what they would do is if our birthday fell on a weekend, Craig, they'd kind of jiggle it around to make sure it was convenient so we'd have our party on our birthday. So they never really, we weren't really too sure. They'd just say, oh yeah, it's your birthday on Tuesday because that's what worked. Uh, and anyway, <laughs> what happened was my grandma registered my birth uh, and registered it wrong by a day because my mum always moved our birthdays around, when she looked at the birth certificate, she didn't realise the birth certificate actually was incorrect a, few, a couple of years later when we applied for my passport. So my mum filled the passport form in, took it to the post office along with my birth certificate, but she'd put the 27th on the passport form, not the 26th. And this was back in the day when your passport, you didn't need to send the documents. There was a check and send service. So the person at the post office would check that the documents matched, 
obviously had looked over the date change. Then when the passport come back, and my mum was probably a little unsure as to when my birthday actually was, so she obviously, your passport, Craig, becomes your go-to piece of document, doesn't it? So my mum checked my passport, on which it said the 27th of September, and thought, well, his birthday's on the 27th of September. We celebrated it that way until I was 19, Craig. When I was 19, I took my passport out as a form of ID with me, and I lost it. And it meant that I had to find my birth certificate, which my mum obviously had, and when I got it out, it had the 26th on it, not the 27th. And it made sense because I tried to get my national insurance number previously, Craig, and couldn't, couldn't find it anywhere on the databases. And I, I, there was loads of things that happened running up to it where there was lots of odd things where I, I couldn't sort of find it out. So yeah, now, Craig, I'm uh, like the queen, I, like a real queen. I have a birthday on the 26th and the 27th of September. So now what I do is I just pick where it falls. So if it's more convenient to have it on the 27th, I do it on the 27th. If it's more convenient on the 26th, I do it on the 26th. So yeah. <laughs> but very right, funny, Pat. Craig, the day that on Facebook, uh, I changed my birthday from the 27th to the 26th. And obviously everyone got a notification that said, Joe Remnitz has changed his birthday from the 27th to the 26th of September. And people were just like, oh my word, what is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting story. I feel like I have a lot of stories. I don't know if just a lot of odd things have happened to me over the years, Craig. That is an interesting story, mm. for sure. Yeah, did you, have you ever thought about doing uh, your memoirs? Absolutely not. No. no. <laughs> I think the thing is, when people write their memoirs, Craig, if you've got to write your memoirs, you need to go whole hog, don't yes. you? There's none of this just writing a book for the sake of writing a book and holding a few bits back. So, I don't know, maybe at some point. Who is it said that uh, keep a diary and one day your diary might keep you? I can't remember who that was. It's a famous oh. quote for you there. Someone let me know in the comments. It was the same lady that also said, I used to be Snow White, but I drifted, which is one of my favourite comments. Craig doesn't get it. I used to be... He's, and Charlotte doesn't get it. I used to be Snow White, but I drifted. So I used to be really good, you know, clean living. But like Snow, I drifted. Oh, That's okay. what it means. Yeah, you are. Craig, you're right. Oh, Craig looks so disappointed. That's, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Mae West, ah, oh, there is a biopic of Mae West's life coming out and Mae West is being played by Bette Midler, which should be awesome, Craig. Mae West, how, how have I heard that name before? Mae West, very, very famous actress, very bold and very outspoken for the times in which she lived in. Let's put it that way and let that be the end of it. Let's do that then. <laughs> Well, we'll have a look and see what else is coming up on Monday Makers. What we're going to do is we're still going to be sticking with these interchangeable sentiments. Now, these ones, this is if you want to go for the full bundle. Just to make it clear as well that the uh, die set that I showed you before within the starter set, that is the same that is in with this one here. So this one that we can see on the front, Pretty Florals, this is the one that comes in with that starter set. So if you were to go for both, you will duplicate, maybe gift it to someone, pop it in a little bag if you want to that you've made and gift that away. So I explained how uh, this one works. They all work in the exact same way. So you've got butterfly foliage. So you've got the detailed die as well as the back ground die and then you've got your three different sentiments as well not often have we done anything or see anything that has easter in it so this is a nice little set there then what we've also got is we've got regal frames here just for you miss you and thank you you've got wild flowers sending hugs sending that's love, my favorite one cusses. that one craig is that your favorite one reminds me of like a tropical asian holiday all those flowers does a bit actually yeah. as well down in you there, know, doesn't it? Like when you see like pictures of fancy hotel lobbies and the Maldives and stuff, and they've all got those huge spreads of tropical yeah. flowers. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, actually, I see that now. See that is yeah. Oh, to go back there, right? to go back there, even just to go oh, there, just to go nice. there, be a fine thing. Maldives, Craig. Oh, mm. not yet. One day. One day. Fingers crossed. One day. And then maybe carrying on with that, you've got the vines here. So you've got the lovely vines. So you have got best wishes, best of luck, best friends. And then last but not least with this within this main bundle send in wishes birthday wishes get well wishes as well so same concept all three of these sentiments will fit in perfectly down at the bottom so we can then have a look at a few finished samples with these ones and then we will make a card but what we're going to do well a card i'm going to make another different style of a gift box to give but i'll also show you how you could potentially then stand a popping it onto a box pop it onto a card blank so you can use them in many different ways. 
So here's some of the different sentiments. We've got Happy Easter. Then we've got on this one here, we've got Get Well Wishes. And a lot of these ones, they, they are sizable dies. However, they're sizable where you can then start to incorporate your larger pieces of cardstock that you've got left around your craft room. And you can change and use whichever colors you want, keeping it very simple if you want, that we can see here. And then last but not least, let's go for the one I had at the side of me in the last demo is Best Wishes. Now, awesome. Craig, before you get into this yeah. demo, can I just ask you a couple of random crafty questions? Would you mind? Go for it. Not at all. Uh, Go for it. So, Lorraine Bennett would like to know, can you please ask Craig if the Crafter's Companion Flower Foam Flowers can hold up in the Florida heat and humidity, asking for a friend? Will they keep that lovely full lushness to them, Craig? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so once that you've uh, uh, heated them up, formed them, shaped them, uh, they're, going to, they're going to keep their rigidity and they're going to be absolutely fine, be really robust as well, uh, whichever way that you're going to use them. Brilliant. Claire Alcock is asking, Hi Joe and Craig, loving the show. I read the cutting numbers and sentiments set before the show, such a good offer. Can I please ask as well, I received a double-sided die in my mystery bag that I'd ordered. I've got the Gemini MIDI. Will it be okay to use the plates that come with the MIDI or do I need a special set of plates for the double-sided die? Thank you, the MIDI. So with the, the MIDI, so the, we would absolutely recommend using your Gemini Junior or of course your large Gemini with the plates. You can use your MIDI. I, I've done it a few times myself. The only thing with that is because they're double-sided, it's to do with the pressure and then obviously what you're going to be cutting. So what I would say, if you can use your Junior, then you know please do so, or obviously your original uh, Gemini. But to use them with the MIDI, what you're going to need is your two double-sided plates and you're going to need that plastic shim that comes with it. So that is going to enable the double-sided dies to work through the MIDI if you can, use your Gemini mm. Junior or your large Gemini just to be uh, sure. But th there is a way you can yeah. do it. Uh, when I did a show on the uh, MIDI with Leanne, uh, she did use it in there and talks about using it. She did say it would make you burn through, I think yes. I remember saying you'd burn through the folders quite quickly uh, using them. You do. So I guess if you're doing the odd little cut here and yeah. there, you're not, it's not so bad, is it? But yeah, absolutely, as Craig said, if you can, use the right machine for the job because then you're going to get the best result. Uh, Sarah's got something funny to share as well. She says, uh, Joe, similarly, my mum always thought her middle name was Lorraine because her parents passed away she, when she was a toddler and her aunt who raised her loved the name Lorraine. So called her that instead of her real middle name, which was May. So for years she had trouble getting her passport. So she thought her middle name was uh, Lorraine when in fact it wasn't at all, it was May. How interesting. That's really interesting. It really that, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Really interesting. Gosh. Funny, it's funny uh, seeing this because obviously I'm hearing Joe read them out, but I've got my comments as well, reading them out as well. Isn't it, you know, life can be funny as well. It's been my it? favourite wake up call in ages today, this morning, I, you know, Craig. It just know feels what like it's been like loads and loads of fun today. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, we've still got 14 minutes to go, so we could mm. ruin it, but you never know. It's been good. I, I, and I know exactly what you mean. I, I, I think part of it is having Janine in as well. Absolutely. You know, that's uh, taking a different uh, turn in a good way as well. It is. It's, it's felt different, but in a good way. Absolutely. A lot of fun. Yeah, long um, may it continue. Exactly. Fingers crossed. But we're we'll be back to being miserable tomorrow. <laughs> we won't. We won't. Probably. Really. We won't. No. We won't. Are me and you ever miserable? No, we're never miserable, are we? No. No. No, I don't think we are. Never. Never in a million years. Just cut back to me having a sip of my coffee there. Thanks for Charlotte. Thanks for that, Charlotte. You gave me that beautiful profile earlier, and now, and now this. <laughs> Oh, you, t you take a little drink of your copy and then I will have a look and demo as to what's coming up onto this one here. So this... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lead that one, that was Charlotte all by herself. Oh, no. Never, never get on the wrong side of your director, Craig, because they can end your career. Oh, like yeah. That. Oh, they can. yeah. Oh, yeah, your mic's out. Whoop. <laughs> They've tried... Have you ever... Johnny, have you ever done that before? Try to end someone's career. Oh, no. Oh, no, Craig. you're too nice. Deep. Oh, there, Craig. Deep. No. I'm not asking Charlotte because I know she definitely wouldn't do anything like that. Nothing. Oh, just a little laughter going on there. Right, let's have a look at this one here. So we went over all that full collection coming up on Monday Makers. Now, remember what I was saying about the cut-in numbers? Well, what I'm going to do now, you could do with the cut-in numbers. And that is our wafer thin die. Foil with them. Use them with your foil press. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this one here, Joe. 
So what I'm doing is I've got a piece of our white smooth stamping card here and I've got my foil press already uh, up to temperature and we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this decorative die. Now I'm using the interchangeable ornate swirls here. So this is the one that gives you birth, uh, birthday wishes, get well wishes and send in wishes. I've got a little bit in here so let's just pop this one out. So I've got my white smooth stamping card. I've got a piece of our foil as well. So we've got our paper craft foil for this one here. And then what I'm going to do for a die like this, because it's a sizable die, but the actual lines of the die is what's going to foil. So there's not actually a lot. I'm going to come to eight seconds. That's all that I'm doing with this one. I'm going to pop this one on and then I like to put my carbon plate over the top. And then what I'm going to do, Joe, is press the start. That's doing the countdown. It's raising the heat up to the points of the die. And then once it beeps, we're going to foil like we would do if it was a foil press stamp. Foil, shiny side. Oh, look at that. I've cut that just. Shiny. Oh, don't, oh, don't worry, Charlotte. I'll manage. I'll manage. There we go. Oh, no. Just made it. Just made it. Oh, no, 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 no. That is what Charlotte was thinking in the uh, gallery. Yeah. I just heard this. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it was like a. Oh, no. <laughs> A couple of other good May West quotes Pamela sent to me. When I'm good, I'm very good, but when I'm bad, I'm better. That is my favourite one as well. And this one's great. Those who are easily shocked should be shocked more often. <laughs> I love that. That's a good one. That is I, a good actually, one. Both of them are good. Yeah, very, both very good. Both of them are really good. It's, uh, I like hearing things like that. You know, I love uh, phrases and verses. However, mm. things like uh, quirky ones as well. Yes. They're uh, really good to hear. Can you see how that outline is already foiled already, Joe? Mm. So if I take this one off, now look at that. So that detail that would die cut, if you were to die cut it, is now foiled. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the outline die so we can pop this one over the top and then we can run this one through our Gemini. And then I'm going to line it up the best I can. I'm also, I'm going to move my foil press out the way and then bringing in my Gemini plates here. I'm going to run them through and then this will give us that die cut piece and then we can carry on and can finish this little box that you've got made. Excellent. I... Lind Linda, I yeah, did you do the same? Did you we're both you? like slightly bemused and perplexed, aren't we? You can read it out, Craig, and uh, we'll we'll see what. Okay, uh, we'll try and work that out. So, Linda on YouTube, she's commented to say, "I love squirrels." I <laughs> know, yes. oh, loves the squirrels. Oh, when you say oh. swirls, it says like, sounds like squirrels. Got yeah, Swirls. It does a bit, doesn't it? I don't know why I did it in an Irish accent there to do how you do it. Gosh, my <laughs> accents are all over the place at the moment. I just, I was kind of like, it caught, caught my attention there. I think it caught all of ours at the exact same time. <laughs> Here we are. So taking this one that's foiled with What's the it swirls. What's it got on it? Swirls. <laughs> it does sound like squirrels so much. Squirrels. Say squirrels and then say swirls. Squirrels, swirls. Yeah, it does sound the same. Does well that... spotted there. Why? Well spotted, Linda. Oh gosh, I'm going to be uh, thinking about swirls and squirrels all day now. Watching what I Imagine say. Imagine swirls of squirrels. Sorry. Imagine swirls of squirrels. Could I imagine them? No. I was just hoping you'd say squirrels of squirrels. Squir oh, I can't say it now. You That's can't it. even say it now. <laughs> you can't even say it. <laughs> And the thing is, Joe, is um, maybe about half of Monday Makers, no, maybe not quite half, but I'll, uh, some of Monday Makers is all about these interchangeable sentiments. Right. So this is going to be fun. Come, it is going to be uh, fun. Later on in the day when it comes to... Maybe we could get some squirrels in the studio while you craft with the swirls. Who we knows? Could do. do a little bit of crafting with the squirrels and the swirls. Don't think that oh, would dear. work. Don't think that. And the thing is, Joe, it's only Monday as well. It's it only is Monday. Only Monday. Some people don't like Monday, Craig. Oh, I love Mondays. I love Mondays. I yeah. love Mondays. I prefer Fridays. Do but you? Mondays are good. No, I, I do. There's something about a Monday I, I do like. Thank you. Kind if of. I'm, if I, because uh, obviously my days off change, Craig, uh, every week, so they're just always slightly different. So I'll have a, 
I'll have a run of being in at the weekends and I'll have a run of Mondays off. Yeah. And if you've got anything to do, honestly, a Monday's your day, Craig. You go into the city centre, there's no one around. It's glorious. It's, um, you, you know, you say that, um, and I don't, I don't think I've actually ever gone to shops kind of like round about a Monday. You always automatically go maybe towards the end of the week, don't That's you? That's why it's great to go on a Monday, Craig, because there yeah. is no one there, honestly. And the thing is, at the moment, queuing to get in shops is the yeah. thing here in the UK, isn't it, Craig? You tried to go to Zara, well-known clothes shop, on a Saturday. I think the wait was like 45 minutes in Manchester no the other way. weekend. It was like up to the end of the block and then all the way back around the corner. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite bonkers. Thankfully, I never have uh, time to wait to go into the Yankee Candle stores. Oh, you love Yankee Candle. Which, don't you, by Craig? the way, Joe, I went into the one in Darlington for the first Did time you? last week. Yeah, me and Mum had gone in. Craig yeah. had worked here for about a year and a half. He's obsessed with Yankee Candles. He'd worked here for a year and a half. I came up for my interview. It was Secret Squirrel, wasn't it, Craig? Uh, I wasn't yep. meant to be here. No one was, no, was to know I was here. Craig knew. And I just had a couple hours to call. So I went to Darlington. There's a Yankee Candle shop. Craig hadn't even discovered it. I know. Didn't know Did you that. get yourself something gorgeous? I, uh, always. It is absolutely impossible for me to go into a Yankee Candle store and buy something. And not buy something, sort of. Do you know so, my one, Craig, that I, that? the shop that I'm obsessed with? Uh, Clark's Shoes. Okay. They're not paying me to say this. This is not an ad. If anyone is watching from Clark's and you'd like to sponsor me and send me freebies, I'm all about that life. <laughs> but it's not. But all of my shoes, Craig, are from Clark's. I don't own any shoes that are not from Clark's. And I can't, every time I see one, I have to go in. A bit like you with, uh, a bit like you with uh, Yankee Candles. Yeah. Did you even get your school shoes from there? Always used to. But actually, do you know what? Because I always got my school shoes from there, Craig. I always thought that it was a bit of an old-fashioned shop. And it was about three years I went in there, and they have. It's very fashionable, Craig. Hmm. Can't can't say that I uh, have got shoes out well, there before. Well, you treat yourself. Next time you see one, go in. Oh well. Yeah. Usually I just see. Well, I'm not. I, um, I'm not one that gets the, you know, your real expensive trainers or that. No, no, I, me neither. No, no I don't are, do that. Um, no. I, and, and now, Craig, uh, I mean, you go into, we have uh, very fancy department stores here in the UK, like Harrods, Selfridges, Harvey Nichols, these sort of place. And there's brands of trainers, Craig. I think they're called like Yeezys or something. And they're like five, six hundred pounds. And essentially, Craig, they are a sock with a piece of plastic on the bottom of them. You're joking. I don't get it. Yeah. Really? And they're like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Gosh, no, I usually just go into Dickman's and get trainers from there. Do you? I've never been in one of those. Have you not? Yeah. Yeah. This has really segued this show, hasn't it? I it mean, has. we've gone from mental health awareness to squirrels, and now we're talking about shoes. We are indeed. And while we've been talking about that, I've finished. Now, I do have for the base of the box, but I know that we are running out of time. So what I would then do is do my base of the box, but we have then used the die to foil with, and then I've done a little bit of a, a drop shadow using black. And then when I was saying about the card blank, alternatively, what you could do is do a little bit of matte and layer, and they're not stuck together, but this just goes to show that the topper that I popped on the front of this box could easily go on the front of a card blank instead. So thinking about how you can transition from cards to boxes, boxes to cards. So throughout the show, we've done that box, we've done this box, and then we've also done this well, gift bag as well. So each of these would be easily be able to uh, transition onto a card blank, but a really nice way you can give little gifts just to let someone know that you're thinking of them, uh, wishing them well, or just to say, just to say hi with a little bit of a gift. So that within the full bundle is what's coming up on Monday Makers with myself and Joe. So that is going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time or 11 a.m. Pacific time. That's the Gemini Interchangeable Sentiment Die Collection. There are eight elements in total. Each set or each pack, you're getting five dies. $74.95 here in the UK, $84.75. You're getting a saving of $14.99 or $16.95. However, you go to Crafters companion.co.uk com dot eu go into your basket check out your basket uh, and actually even before you check out your basket your club inspire will come off on top of that one love a cheeky discount craig love a good yeah it's, oh. there's that feeling that when you go you go to check out and then that additional saving just drops mm. off as well it's like oh 
Oh, it's good. Do you know what? If only like, you know, if only you could do that out on the high street. You know, if I could go into Zara home and I'd get, you know, 20% off everything, oh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be over the moon. Craig. I'd be cock a hoot. That, that's exactly what I was going to say. And it just, I couldn't form it properly in my head. So I thought, no, steer clear. Uh, it's oh. been lovely, Craig. I've really, really enjoyed this show. I think it's been my favourite ever wake up call. I, I'm, go I'm going to actually, I'm going to agree with you on that one there as well. We've had a nice variety. Of, obviously, yes, focusing on what we are uh, showcasing on Crafters TV, but obviously just uh, focusing as well on uh, mental health. So lovely having Janine on as well. Really nice to see uh, her take and just think positive and keep yourself feeling positive as well. But before we go for the day. Let's have a quick look as to what's coming up on the remaining of this Monday, the 10th of May. So you are going to be seeing Sarah and Joe later on the day for launch day. So that's going to be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. It's all about a brand new cut in numbers that you guys are already loving. You're already checking them out and they're already on their way to you. So make sure you get them before they are gone. And then I'm going to be back with Joe for Monday Makers, 7 p.m. here in the UK. 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time, where we're going to have a look in more depth when it comes to those interchangeable sentiments. We're going to have a look at that little starter guide as well, the stamp and die frame set. We've got them coming up as well as a few other little bits and pieces too. So what I'm going to do, get tidied up. I'm going to go home and do a little bit of prep so I'm not in everyone's way. Now I'm going to come back at the end of launch day and get sorted for Monday Makers. So until then, thank you so much for your company. It's been an absolute pleasure. Enjoy launch day. I know you're going to have a blast with that one with Sarah and Joe. And then I will see you again at the end of the day, being here in the UK, for Monday Makers. See you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>